Thank you, Charlene. Uh, very glad to be part of this session, creating the roadmap for predictive and uh, autonomous uh, enterprises. Uh, uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Good morning and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, what we see here today, uh, just after this uh, challenges posed by the pandemic, many of the organizations have adopted to technology uh, to assure the continuity and also manage the various challenges that was posed by the pandemic. Uh, and technology came very handy, such as IoT, because we are able to operate plants remotely. We are able to use technology to actually implement some of the protocols required by uh, the COVID the pandemic. Uh, we had solutions to actually support social distancing and uh, uh, temperature monitoring and many of those that was required by the various uh, governments and there is also a lot that needs to be done because quite a lot of purchases from consumers have shifted from store purchases to online purchases so the whole supply chains have to be reimagined and recalibrated so companies and enterprises which really adapted to this uh, technology early in their uh, uh, journey have been able to be very resilient and provide a uh, quick response to this challenge and uh, and you will never you will probably know that IoT played a very critical role in enabling this journey for the customers now having actually understood in terms of how IoT can really provide this remote connectivity and number of other ways to improve the supply chain and improve the various ways of products, process, and the plants. Uh, it's not just for the challenges. I think we can use IoT to very uh, constructively reimagine the future. And uh, what I'm showing here is just a small uh, uh, sample or a flavor for what is the art of possible. And I'm sure in number of industries, we see that uh, companies and as well as enterprises are adopting IoT to kind of future-proof their organization, understand what could be the new ways of doing this business to create not just efficiencies, not just operational excellence, but actually to reimagine the business models. Uh, we see that happening in uh, supply chain. We see that happening in workforce. For example, uh, Hugh talked about uh, the robotic manufacturing, how it is actually growing in, at scale, in an exponential scale, rather. Um, and Cobalt's uh, collaborative robots are playing a big part in that. Uh, sustainability is another major point in uh, many industries. We see whether it's utilities, whether it is in uh, um, building materials, whether it is in uh, uh, CPG industries, big topic for achieving carbon neutrality and uh, uh, zero emission status uh, uh, across all their operations, covering uh, energy, covering air, covering water, and many of those. Uh, and IoT plays a very critical role in those as well because we are able to monitor in real time, able to predict the consumption and the emissions very accurately and also come out with algorithms and ways of optimizing it. Above all, since we are now connecting the devices, number of devices between the edge as well as the uh, IT system and the enterprise system, security is very paramount and uh, technologies and uh, uh, protocols at the edge level has been really moving fast to be at par with some of the requirements that we are seeing in the industry. Um, so this presents a very great, um, I would say, a possibility for uh, all of us in the in, in any industry you can take uh, across many of the aspects of this product process and the plants. Can we move to the next slide, please? So uh, TCS actually launched uh, a framework for organizations to adopt IoT at scale and. Uh, uh, as uh, earlier we talked, IoT is not just uh, a small project, it's actually an enterprise transformation. You are actually getting the physical context of your business 
whether it is in the car whether it is in the mine whether it is in a retail store or whether it is in a healthcare we are actually getting the physical context and by actually knowing the physical context from the sensors we build the digital intelligence into it using ai ml and many of the techniques that way you are actually construct yourself for the enterprise and exponential value look at this way uh today we see uh, a very simple construct of how enterprises can adapt to iot uh, if you look at it from a technical con construct it will be like we will have devices that we have to have a way of connecting them and collecting the data into our uh, cloud and other common uh, foundations and once the data is there we build the predictive behavior using ai ml Uh, how we can improve the oil yield in oil well, or whether it is a machine failure that potentially can occur due to a catastrophic uh, failure that is noticed uh, in the machines from their vibration signals. So, whole lot of predictive behavior can actually be built in the second stage. Uh, and third stage is what we are discussing today: is to actually move from that predictive behavior into an evolutionary stage of a self-aware or autonomous state. and we also see uh, another interesting aspect here uh, iot is not about just within the enterprise yes it connects various information within the enterprise the plant and uh, uh, the demand signals and the supply signals for an organization but it is also actually the true power of iot lies in constructing your boundaryless uh, uh, models with your suppliers with your customers and seamlessly and in real time pushing the data uh, to those ecosystems i will give some case studies of how that is being uh, practiced today from a uh, couple of industries uh, to illustrate this point later and iot also is really extremely powerful to uh, deliver a completely transformational experience for customers and uh, uh, constructing a consumer experience and uh, delight through iot by giving them various features and uh, kind of well starting with even smart watches to all the way to health there is a lots and lots of possibilities we see uh, in the organizations so essentially i think uh, two important things iot is not within the enterprise it's a network it's an ecosystem it's a it enables the purpose centric enterprise and secondly technologically we have now the compute power tools and various uh, mechanisms to achieve the autonomous state and thereby we are able to unlock the exponential value for our enterprise can we move to the next one so the question yeah uh, i think we can skip this slide out next slide please so from a, a question comes in this is how do we really uh, take this into a path to an exponential value uh, and how do we really construct this in the context of uh, enterprise uh, i think uh, hugh talked about the focus on uh, digital transformation in manufacturing especially in asia pacific he said uh, the spend will uh, move from 195 billion dollars to 311 billion dollars by 2024 asia pacific is uh, the manufacturing hub of the entire globe and so a lot can be done uh, in terms of deploying iot and reaching this uh, exponential value uh, goal uh, for any of the enterprises so the chart here i'm sorry it's quite busy chart but basically outlines uh, how you can start off with connect in context as the first stage of uh, adoption of iot across the three major uh, value streams that you we typically see in any manufacturing industry uh, the product or production uh, value stream supply chain value stream and then delivering that product to the customers the customer services value stream so as we start building that uh, iot uh, capabilities and the initiatives such as uh, itot uh, connectivity um track and trace in supply chain and connected products and uh, getting the feedback from the customers you start realizing certain value but the more value can be actually obtained when you start putting the 
predictive behavior, we call that as digital twin. And then it moves on to when we actually construct an autonomous state, uh, we can combine each of the value stream into one seamless uh, value flow between product to the customer service. And that is where an enterprise can really look at uh, unlocking a great value, uh, which is hidden in today's uh, system due to uh, silos, due to lack of information, due to real time data. Uh, and we actually, this construct provides in any organization, be it a cement industry or be it a utility industry, uh, we can change these value streams according to their uh, industry needs. But pretty much this construct will enable the uh, uh, purpose-centric realization of these enterprises. Can we go to the next slide? So I will kind of uh, wrap this uh, session with uh, uh, two case studies, a quick uh, glimpse, glimpse of these two case studies. Uh, this one is for a global uh, CPG company, uh, has plants across the world, more than around 500 plants they have, uh, making various types of products in the consumer uh, category. Uh, the biggest issues they have is how do we really get the demand versus supply integration at real time. Uh, there are a lot of uh, operational uh, improvements possible through wastage reduction and quality improvements. And more than that, how I would be able to introduce new products? How can I bring a lot of new business approaches uh, in terms of uh, NPI and introducing new categories of products very quickly in the shortest cycle time and also how I can change my um, uh, manufacturing lines in terms of uh, the e-commerce type of uh, orders that are coming where we can actually switch the lines very fast using uh, robotics, automation and number of other um, uh, tools and algorithms. Uh, this is called a, a digital manufacturing operations IoT platform uh, they are more looking at implementing uh, close to around 100 use cases uh, from the edge devices, from the control systems, all the way to the cloud and the analytics, rolling out to their, uh, all their plants worldwide. Uh, and we are playing a major part in the blueprinting as well as enabling this journey for these customers. Uh, next, please. This is another uh, interesting case. Uh, I, I've been always been amazed by their uh, vision and thought process of how they wanted to take this journey with IoT. Uh, Daman is actually, uh, they make the various types of ships. It's a ship builder. Uh, they supply the large ships to, uh, let's say, the shipping lines like Maersk and NYK uh, to transport containers. They also make a lot of... Uh, other kinds of uh, tugboats and various other uh, ships uh, in based out of Netherlands. But the goal they set for themselves was interesting. They said that we want to move from being a ship builder to a maritime solution provider. Uh, so they set up a connected vessel platform using IoT, connected all their um, equipment within the ship, such as the engine, controls, various other pumps and uh, equipment, uh, close to around 10,000 sensors, getting the data into this connected vessel platform. And here is where the power of this platform comes. They gave access to their suppliers, who are the engine manufacturers, as well as to their customers, who are their end users of these uh, ships to actually the customers will look at it from more from the usage perspective, fuel efficiency and uh, uh, maintenance schedules and as well as uh, no, various other regulatory filings that are required. But the suppliers will look at it from how, what can I do to keep this ship running? What kind of uh, maintenance and the predictive maintenance I can build? If I am an engine supplier like Rolls-Royce Marine, how do I actually get that data and use that data effectively? Very, uh, I would say, very, very powerful platform. It's an ecosystem platform on one side with supplier, on the other side with customers. Truly a purpose-centric realization. And today, uh, the Diamond's vision and journey is to actually move uh, using this platform directly to an autonomous state, uh, how we can actually build and deliver autonomous ships. So the autonomous today is not just autonomous cars that we hear about, 
we see that in every industry whether it is autonomous utilities mines in uh, plants uh, this concept of self aware self healing autonomous is coming into play and i think it's a great uh, time and uh, uh, window for us to reflect on what we can do for our enterprises and uh, and take this journey next please So uh, I think it's a uh, very, 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 um, uh, I would say timely in terms of having this conference in Asia Pacific, uh, given its focus on manufacturing. And we see this technology and IoT can uh, really accelerate your journeys. And, uh, and, and we look forward to uh, speaking with you, sharing as well as reflecting on how do we chart this path. Thank you.